fresh out of the mailbox mixed with a new release alert. You know your boy rarely gets new releases, but this is a fragrance I absolutely had to pick up because I love the line of Roberto Cavalli. This is one of those designer lines that really you can't miss with whatever option you decide to go with. So they dropped a new flanker or maybe a new version of the original. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can unbox this puppy and see if it keeps the same energy as the others. Plus, in one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. The fragrance is Roberto Cavalli's Womo Gold Anniversary, or Golden Anniversary to be exact. I picked this joint up from Fragrance Buy. This wasn't sent to me. I purchased this joint. And by the time that this video comes out, truth be told, this line is so good that this is probably going to be sold out just off the strength of the other fragrances, to be honest with you. I don't know that for a fact, but just trust me on it. This is a fantastic line. I love all of the fragrances from Roberto Cavalli Womo line that I love. La Note, fucking Deep Desire, or Deep Penetration, whatever it was called. And now we got Golden Anniversary. So clearly I'm holding this joint at a very high standard. I hope it doesn't let me down. I don't know anything about the fragrance. Once again, I purchased this joint off the strength that it's a Roberto Cavalli Womo. That's it. Let's go ahead and open this shit. I'm very curious to smell this joint and I have high hopes. I hope it doesn't let me down because legit, this would be the first fragrance in that lineup that I don't like. The fragrance wasn't too expensive, to be honest with you. It was a yardstick, so, you know, a simple $100, a little beaner, isn't gonna break anybody's bank, especially when I know in my heart of hearts that this entire line is fire. And for me personally, the quality that I've gotten from the other fragrances are like well below what the market value should have been. But you know me, I like to bag something up when I like it. So let's crack this shit open. Nice golden presentation. I don't know if the box, the bottle, ooh, the bottle's gold too. You know Kuba's tacky, I enjoy a nice little gold action. This is gold as fuck. Very, very, very nice. I love it, I love it. It's probably gonna end up chipping at some point. Looks like it has a little bit of a mold or some shit. But beautiful full gold bottle, very sexy. Reminds me a little bit of uh, a little bit of like Millicent Imperial or whatever, just in probably a better fragrance. Uh, I don't have any test strips on hand right now, so we're just gonna go right on skin. Even the little atomizers, gold too. Listen, I'm hype. Don't let me down, Roberto Cavalli. I am a fan. Let's do this right on skin. I usually do one spray. I was just trying to get the, I got trigger happy. Oh, what in the twin G's? Oh, 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 oh. This isn't regular Womo. Oh, 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 I got, I got goose pimples on my back, son. My C spine tingling. Oh, 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 what is that? Mmm, mmm, goose pimples. Focus on them. Oh, shit. We got a little lavender action, leather. There's some caramel type vibe here. This does not smell like the original Womo. I mean, there's DNA version of it, but this is, this is blended with. We got woods. We got this. There's this syrupy, caramel-esque candy vibe about it. There's woods, there's lavender, a really smooth, like, creamy lavender, which just doesn't make sense to me. And then there's smoky, leathery. Woo! Hey, yeah! Oh, my Lord. Yo. This is what I am talking about oh this is pure sex in a bottle this is date night nighttime got versatility but i feel like on a brisker night doesn't have necessarily be fall or winter but on a brisker night this will be a fucking vibra oh man there's this just oozes butt sex oh damn this shit is good as fuck absolutely worth the yardstick I pay for this joint. I don't know what the performance is. I don't know what the longevity is. I can tell, oh, this shit is nice. 
It's like the original Womo, a kicked up lavender with like a little bit, a little bit of the syrupiness from something like a new Harlem. Not full blown like Aunt Jemima syrupy. Like it, it's, man, this is fucking fire. This is gonna be a fragrance that's gonna be on some lists, guaranteed, or your money back. Not from me. This is fucking delicious. Oh, the dry down is just as good as the open. It's just sexy all across the board. Yes, queen, yes. Mm. This motherfucker make me wanna go to church and I don't go to church. This shit, I feel like I'm watching the movie Sister Act right now. Because I'm free. Mm. Oh, on a scale of one to 10, this motherfucker is a 9.4. Oh, and I don't give high scores like that. This is nice. I like this one. I boosted it in my mentals and this shit delivered. I like it. I like it a lot. Is it a ball spray? I'm about to fist this shit up my rectum. This is so fucking, yeah, it's a ball. You stupid or what? Woo! Knocked it out of the fucking park. I love the line, and maybe I'm a little bit biased because I love the line and I boosted it in my head, but the shit deliver. Sweet baby Jesus. This is gonna be sold out. If it's not sold out already, like I said, this is going to be sold out. Put yourself on a notification list. Motherfuckers is gonna be selling this shit for more than it's worth. Watch. I love it. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. The biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, star tack. When it's time to call back. Uh, For the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>